Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a codebook of an SPSS data file. This can be done by going to Analyze, Reports, and then Codebook. You now have a few options. The first one to decide is at the variables, is which variables you actually want to show in the codebook. In this case, I simply want all of them, so I'm using the Shift key and select the last one, and then move them to Codebook Variables not done yet so I go for output and here you can choose uh, which variable information should be displayed um, I usually uncheck the format and the custom attributes um, I also don't need any of the file information and I usually leave this one ticked um, it simply will say that it will not show all the labels if you have more than 200 uh, different categories at statistics you can actually opt to show for each variable some counts and some percents but I'm actually unticking them because I don't need any statistics and I also don't want any measures of central tendency or dispersion uh, of course if you want to see those you can uh, tick them and you get them in your output if you click on OK you now get a long uh, list and with each variable you will now see uh, the position it's at, uh, the label, uh, what type it is, the measurement level, the rules, so all the options you've selected and in this case 0 was coded as not visited and 1 was coded as visited and you get that for all the different variables this is a one format of a codebook um, depending on your preference there is one alternative that might be considered a codebook as well um, which is if you go for file and uh, then we need to go to display data file information and then working file and then you simply get one uh, very long table where it actually shows for each variable the position, the label, the measurement levels, the row, uh, the column width, the alignment, the print format and uh, the write format and underneath it will show one long table with for each variable the possible values and how they were coded so uh, sex and gender in this case one was male and two was female uh, for me it would be ideal if uh, this table would be combined with this one into one mega table but unfortunately I haven't figured any way out on how to do that so I'm stuck with uh, these two possible ways of generating a codebook if you know of any other way of generating a code, well, please comment in the section below. Uh, besides from using syntax, of course. Uh, but in the graphical user interface and all these menus, I haven't come across any other method. So uh, these are the two ways. Uh, analyze and then report codebook or file display data file information working file.